Yo, what's up guys, it's Kizzle here, and today we're back with another video, and in this one, we're gonna be talking about Modern Warfare 2 Remaster. Short answer, it's gonna happen. Now we're gonna jump in on the content, and I will let you know what's up. There are more rumors coming in, there are some leaks, there are a couple of different multiple individual hints, completely butchered everything here, but we're gonna keep on going, and we're gonna be talking every little thing about Modern Warfare 2 Remaster, why it's gonna happen, and I really never talk about Modern Warfare 2 Remaster on my channel, and this is gonna be the first video I will make on this topic and you guys know I will only make videos that I fully believe in right and we're gonna first of all dive into the part where everyone is kind of freaking about which is the fact that Modern Warfare 2 is not backwards compatible and I got something crazy for y'all so check this out I went over on Google did my research and I went over on this thing called Xbox uh, UserVoice.com or Xbox.UserVoice.com and they say let, let us know which Xbox Xbox 360 games you're most excited to play on Xbox one and this is a backwards compatibility section and you guys can see 187,000 votes and that's not it we're gonna be talking about other different things and if something that doesn't make sense to you let me know in the comments and we can have our own discussion in the comments below as well but check this out everyone here is screaming about uh, making Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3 backwards compatible and surprise there isn't any other Call of Duty beside Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 2, and Modern Warfare 3 that isn't backwards compatible. Or what I mean to say here is that every Call of Duty is backwards compatible, and Modern Warfare 1, 2, and 3, they aren't backwards compatible. And of course, we all know Modern Warfare Remaster is a thing now. Everyone probably have played it that wanted to play, of course. But what I'm saying here, Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 1, they are backwards compatible. And of course, they release after Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 and heck even after Modern Warfare 3 and I even heard if you want to play Black Ops 1 on Xbox One you have to pay a little bit that's what I heard because I personally don't have Xbox uh, 360 or Xbox One but hey what I'm trying to say Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2 are backwards compatible and why Activision is leaving money on the table that doesn't make any sense and therefore Modern Warfare 2 should have been backwards compatible because of course that's one of the biggest Call of Duty and it's not backwards compatible why in the world they wouldn't remaster or backwards compatible at least something that made them a ton of money and of course everyone is screaming about Modern Warfare 2 remaster make the make us play and everything like that so that's one hint number two if there is no backwards compatible of course there isn't does that mean a remaster most likely yes because there was a patent release recently there is a supply drop propaganda everything like that of course all of us hate it but I personally do like the idea of supply drop but the problem is it requires more of you paying than actually grinding to get keys and using them in order to get a supply drop weapon that doesn't happen anymore right like you would have to play for days and once you get around let's just say one 100 keys you would put them in your supply drop and the ratio of you getting let's say mp5 out of the mystery box or not the mystery box i'm just a zombies guy that's why i'm trying to come up with different guns name and everything like that here but let's just say ump45 right let's say ump45 was in uh modern warfare 2 i mean it is but let's say in modern warfare 2 remaster it's not in the original game but it's in the supply drops god forbids that actually happens but for an example this is a terrible example but let's just say that right ump45 is in supply drop and you got 100 keys so you put all of your keys in and the chances are so slim there is only one chance out of one million that you will actually get what you want because there is so BS filled in supply drops like you got uh, those uh, little watches um, um you got those colorblind glasses or I'm just coming up with different things there but you get the point right supply drops is just a cash cow and there's no possible way that they wouldn't add that in Modern Warfare 2 remaster I personally like the idea of supply drop but I don't like the fact that you would get very minimal keys by grinding the game for hours and hours but recently there was a guy over on reddit that posted this now I cannot confirm the validity of this post but it goes something like this and it makes complete sense now check this out Modern Warfare 2 remaster has been in development at Raven Studios since mid 2016 with intended launch in quarter 3 2018 some details that I can share is that it will be separate from Modern Warfare remaster and will not be a pre-order bonus for Call of Duty 2018 which 
which means it will be a standalone game, which is awesome for sure. Expected launch in quarter 3, just after the release of DLC 4 for World War 2. DLC release for World War 2 will be accelerated because of this. Expect drops every 2 and 2 and a half months, or 2 and a half months, rather than 3 months. The reason they are launching quarter 3 is not to conflict with the launch of Call of Duty 2018. Some rough plans are to introduce the 2 map pack stimulus, or however the F you pronounce that thing, and resurgence at a later date. Oh boy. Preliminary reports are to have stimulus after a month after Call of Duty 2018 and resurgence to release one month after DLC 1 for Call of Duty 2018. All of this is still in very early planning. Modern Warfare 2 Remaster will also have loot drops from launch uh, with weapon contraband being added in every single month. There will be supply drops, salvage only weapons at launch. System is exact same as Modern Warfare Remaster but can be changed based on feedback from Call of Duty World War 2. New feature is the headquarters mode. It takes us to a US base in Afghanistan set immediately after or before rather the events of the game. Headquarters will function similar to that as it functions in Call of Duty World War 2. Survival mode from Modern Warfare 3 was also added into the Spec Ops mode. Everything is subject to change. Just call me Spectre. I'm your guy on the inside. I'm one who leaks everything and that part I I'm not sure about that and that's why I said the validity of this post is not the best but however everything is making sense now this guy says that in 2018 it's gonna release and a lot of us are thinking the same but if it's going to release in 2018 it's gonna be the same thing like we expected with DLC 5 DLC 5 released at a perfect time it was a prime time to boost the revenue plus it was a dead Call of Duty period and that revived a lot of the fan base and that's exactly what Activision is looking for they want to provide more content to revive the dead periods plus they want to make revenue and there's nothing wrong in that uh, aspect but of course if they are going to pour supply drops with more sort of like shit and they make the game where it's so hard to grind keys and you have to pay in order to get your guns then it's a problem but other than that it's gonna be more content and it's gonna be releasing during dead periods and that's exactly what they're aiming for and it makes total sense and I also want to add this little piece of information right here as well now check this out this was posted a little while ago in fact before Modern Warfare Remake Remastered was even announced a petition for Modern Warfare 2 Remaster gained over 220,000 signatures in the space of a week. And I heard that once you get over 10,000 signatures, it's like it's most likely gonna be something that the, the companies are gonna look into. And once you reach around 100,000 signatures, it's gonna happen. And hey, we got more than double the amount of petition signatures, and it's inevitable that Modern Warfare 2 Remaster is not gonna happen. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below check out some other videos on the screen subscribe if you're new smash a like for more videos like this one and i'll see you very freaking soon